Hello everyone, this is Ashish and today I'm going to be discussing what are the various reference books that you should be following. More importantly, when you should be following it and how you should be studying them, right? So let's get proper information about it because when I was undergraduate, I was reading a lot of books because that's the only source of information for me because you know what kind of teaching goes on in private colleges. So I read a lot of books, but at the same time, I've read a lot of books that I should not have read because there are a lot of books in market, especially in Indian market, which is just not supposed to be over there. There will be a lot of mistakes and you will be building concept in a wrong manner. So I do not want that to happen to you. But before all that, let's come to the question of when you should be reading books, especially if your focus is towards competitive examination. Listen, I have no grudge against people who are not preparing for competitive examination. I still want them to read proper books, solid textbooks, which is going to help them at least learn engineering. For example, you're preparing for GRE. You have no business with GATE or engineering services. But still, if you're doing engineering and if you ever read a book, then read proper books. All right, do not read wrong books because I've read a lot of books which I should not have read. It actually hampers your concept. It is going to take you to the negative direction, right? So make it one thing like do one good thing today that share this video with at least three undergraduate students because i want them to get the proper information if you do this you you can create a change in the long run you know the situation of engineering going on in this country especially in private colleges we do not get proper information and a lot of us do not learn engineering even after four years but if you just do this take it as a moral responsibility share it with three undergraduate students and big changes can be started from just these small things and it will be really good for us all in the long run right so now, when you should be reading books. Now, especially for seven semester students, you guys do not have the time to read books now. Now, whatever books I'm mentioning, I'm going to mention now, you can read them as a reference. Wherever you get stuck, read a paragraph, a page at max, and then keep the book aside. But for people who are in first or second year, you guys have time to read books. And more importantly, you should be reading books because even if you're preparing for competitive examination like gate you cannot directly dive into gate previous year questions or yes previous year questions because you need a proper base first otherwise it will be very difficult to build that base in the later phases and now you guys have time 12 months is all you need for preparing for competitive examination if you have a very good base right so build that base now i'm never going to tell you that waste a lot of time now but you have to work just as hard but in a different direction that get concept very well get that feel of mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or even science student if you are a science student get that feel of science and engineering right now and understand things with a lot of fun right so first and second year students have time to read books now because you need to build concept now this is the role of this video i'm going to tell you what books to read so that whatever you read is actually going to be applicable in the later phases right and other students who should be reading books are those who are preparing for interviews they have given gate examination or given es examination they have gotten call or brc examination they have gotten call for interview before the interview now you need to read books now the preparation strategy for an interview and the same examination which got you to that interview the preparation strategy is completely different in examination you need to focus more on numerical solving at least six to ten months before the examination and for interview you need to focus on books because they are going to ask theoretical questions a lot over there okay so these are the uh, now i've stated very clearly that who should be reading books if you are in first or second year definitely give ample amount of time into reading proper books that i'm going to mention in this video and if you are in seventh semester then you can just use it as reference and if you are appearing for interview then these are the books that you should be following before i start mentioning all the books please listen to these four points very well because i do not want you guys to go in the wrong direction now you do not need to solve the questions that are behind the books all right for example one chapter is over there will be around 10 to 20 questions right you do not need to solve them to get better towards your preparation of competitive examination now the role of book over here is to get you concept right and questions that you're going to solve will be focused towards competitive examination that will be gate or ESE previous year questions or ISRO previous year questions 
Now, even after you have read a full book, you will not be able to solve all the previous year questions of that subject. Why? Because that book is not focused towards competitive examination. So don't be afraid if you are only able to solve 20 to 30 percent. The later phases comes when you are going through class notes. I'm going to upload my notes too. That is focused towards competitive examination. And that is when you get better towards solving previous year questions. So don't be worried and don't solve the questions that are behind the book. Now, another thing, use the library. Whatever book I'm going to say over here, I'm going to put a link from Amazon or any place Flipkart where you can directly get to the buying section, right? but do not all of a sudden buy all the books that's not what we do utilize your library and issue books from there i can i think three or four books you can issue whatever you can issue books use friend, your friends books and all but do not all of a sudden buy because for a lot of you guys you have to just use it as a reference book right to clear your doubts or if somewhere you get stuck at that stage read that book if you like it a lot because for any subject i'm going to mention three or four books or two or three books at least i'm going to be mentioning if you like a particular book then you're supposed to buy do not buy all of a sudden right so those are my basic um, points that i wanted to mention now let's get into what books you should be reading for mathematics bs garewal is a standard book so you can be reading that it's a very thick book so i do not suggest buying it it is most likely available in your library so use that so bs garewal for mathematics when it comes to aptitude you can be reading that one it's not like you cannot read aptitude right you will be getting some questions that you need to be solving to increase your practice at particular set of topics that are important for competitive examination the number one book is made easy produces a book it is specially for aptitude i've solved that book so i know that it is pretty good another one is by arun sharma it is for focus towards cat a student only recommended that book to me so you can go through it it has good level of questions and at the same time it is going to give you some short tricks right so these are the books for aptitude and maths now the rest of the books that i'm going to be mentioning are only for mechanical engineering so definitely some of the books will be important for civil engineering or production engineering or branches close to mechanical engineering but if you are electronics or electrical or computer science then rest of the video will not be important for you now here's a place where i have mentioned important books for you guys now barc uh, preparation strategy video i've made for all the branches electrical electronics computer science all the branches are available in there i have mentioned the books that you should be referring that's as much as i can help you guys when it comes to books or study materials so please don't mind and you can leave this video right now for mechanical engineers let's continue the video i'm going to give you each and every subject's books now obviously i have created notes where i have written all the books of various subjects and i'm going to brush straight through it every book's picture will be over here so that you can understand exactly what book i'm talking about about link will be down in the description box all right let's start with strength of material so basically there are two or three books for strength of material number one timoshenko and gary now it is a single volume book it is usually yellow in color it is a very very good book i've read a lot of it and it is very good for you to know about the various derivations it is very good for you to build a very good concept for strength of material right so definitely that book is number one in my recommendation number two is timo Shenko has produced two volumes books on strength of material and it comes in two small volumes you can read that too but it is a little bit higher level right so it's your choice the third one is by Ramam Thuram it is a very thick book especially for civil engineers it is made especially by a civil engineer for a civil engineer so you can read that book as a reference if you are a mechanical engineer some chapters from that book is very very useful for example pressure vessel columns they, those are very well explained in that book right but still for strength of material it is pretty obvious that timoshenko and gere is the best book next coming to fluid mechanics sanjil is best book according to me i've read that book it is very well explained over there the concepts will be very crystal clear in your head if you go through that book it is a marvelous book another one is frank and white again very good these are foreign author books 
another one if you want to go for indian authors because some students find it easier to understand concepts by indian authors and subramaniam yeah subramaniam and uh, modi and said these are two very good books modi and said actually covers the hydraulic machine part also so these are the four reference books according to my recommendation of which is the best i think the central is the best book but i've read this modi and said also and it explains things in a very easy manner so like i've said before before buying read the book or even in amazon nowadays you can read few pages or if you can get from library or some friend go through it before you buy it whether you understand the language that well that is a question now thermodynamics pk now obviously one of the most famous books in mechanical engineering that is very good but if you need to reach a little bit higher level for example brc interview or isro interview you can go through sanjil and it is again a book that i've read it's very well explained so you can go through it now tom and vibration theory of machine ss ratan is a very good book one of the very few indian author books that can be read so ss ratan is good another one is also indian that is pl balani so these are the books that you can refer for theory of machine and vibration so strength of material uh, sorry ss ratan i have read full so very well explained even the examples are very good so solved example you can go through to get concepts in a better manner but do not invest a lot of times over there for solved example because uh, those are not focused towards competitive examination so better go for previous year questions and there's a huge bank of previous year question when it comes to theory of machine of engineering services and gate previous year questions right now coming to production ghosh and malik is a very good book for production i've read that it's a small book only and everything is very well explained over there especially towards competitive examination so definitely if you want a book for production you want the concept well then go through it otherwise if you want to solve numericals obviously sk mandal question bank is a very good option now another book made by swadesh kumar singh one of the best faculties i have ever who has ever taught me is has written a book and it is very good book because that guy that guy that person very respected you don't mind the way i'm speaking because that's the casual way that i speak most of the time but swadesh kumar singh huge respect to him he has made a series of lectures on dislocation theory it is available for free on youtube also but his book is definitely good because he has cracked competitive examinations and he especially made this book under made easy publication for competitive examination and a lot of my friends has read that book and they have given very good reviews about that so you can definitely consider it as an option swadesh kumar singh production engineering next coming to heat transfer sanjil book for heat transfer is again very very good so you can definitely go through it incropera is a little bit higher level but again extremely good book and it explains the concept very well especially in depth concepts like uh, transient state analysis and these are the things that are explained very well over there but that is like more like mtech level book now special note over here is that my full and free lectures on strength of material fluid mechanics and thermodynamics are available so once you go through these books you can go and watch my lectures it is available on an academy link again will be down in the description box i myself teach over there see i have cracked brc and i have cracked isro with all india rank of 4 now these are both scientist sorry these are both scientist posts and you need tremendous amount of concept to crack these organizations and if i am teaching for free you would be like it will really be such a waste if you do not utilize it all right so after going through books you can definitely watch my lectures it will definitely help you right next heat transfer is done now coming to machine design bb bandari is probably the best book on machine design if you want a reference book but again these are application based subject like rac is another example ic engine is another example these are application based subject and you can directly focus on your numerical more but still these uh, these are the books for people who really need reference books and vb bandari will be the best book for you when it comes to machine design next hydraulic machines i have not read, read this book but few of the students who have cracked competitive examination have given very good recommendation to this book that is jagdish lal and you can also follow my lectures on hydraulic machine it is available again for free but jagdish lal is a good book for hydraulic machine if you are preparing for competitive examination or if you just want to get some very good concept now material science callister is best the best book callister 
and uh, you can read it it's a very thick book and material science is not that important for especially competitive examination like gate isro obviously questions come but not that much as strength of material or heat transfer or fluid mechanics but still if you have interest you can go through calister if you are in first or second year definitely you have time and if you are really interested in material science this is the best book this is the bible for you and definitely you can go through it right RAC IC engine now coming to the application based subject RAC you might be knowing CP Aurora is a very good book so definitely that's my recommendation for you guys IC engine Veganation very good book but again these small subjects from which just three or four marks question sometimes comes reading this thick book is not that smart but if you're in first and second year you have time and even I used to read those books over time it is definitely going to help you a lot now industrial engineering is a subject for which it is very difficult for you to find a book but there's a book written by Swadesh Kumar Singh again that is engineering services sorry industrial engineering mechatronics and robotics by Dr. Swadesh Kumar Singh by the way he's a PhD so you can read that book again under made easy publication a lot of students who have cracked competitive examination has recommended this book so if you want a book which is focused towards competitive examination and also for a subject like industrial engineering it is very very difficult to find a book for competitive examination so definitely this is a good option if you get a chance to go through it before you buy it that will be very good but this definitely is a very good option now these are the books that i suggest based on my six or seven years experience in mechanical engineering and going through all the books in library you might have noticed that there are a lot of famous books in indian market that i just did not mention i'm not going to take those names but do not read those books because those books first of all has a lot of mistakes the concept are not that well written and it does not focus on you gaining that concept all right these are the books that in a lot of private colleges even teachers read and the solved example they directly put in your semester examination the concept and the principle that is going on in indian engineering colleges is completely wrong it is false and it should not be done especially because students are paying a lot of money to get that engineering degree and in four years if you cannot teach engineering what the hell are you doing right but that is why this video is very very important it is your responsibility to share it with at least three people who are undergraduate who are doing engineering please share it uh, translate this very good transfer this very good solid authentic information to other students so that they get solid information and this country also starts producing very good engineers there's no doubt that one of the best engineers have been produced by this country but when it comes to private colleges we do not get very good exposure obviously iits iitns and nitns they get very good faculties they are given proper resource but other other students they do not get that much so do that it will definitely help the next generation one thing i want to mention you do not need to revise whatever you have studied in books this is the basic goal of what books does you getting concept after that if you're preparing for competitive examination revise your notes but do not turn all the book pages because that is going to take extremely large amount of time that is why in the beginning of the video itself i explain who should be reading this these books because if you're in seventh semester you start reading all these books you will not be able to crack competitive examination because you have to focus towards that right now anything else that i missed i do not think i missed any of the books if there is any book that i missed out please comment it down below i'm going to answer over there also if you think honestly some book is very good then comment it down below and also explain it properly why you think that book is very good and i'm going to reply over there i reply to each and every comment it is very important for me to reply i interact with my community and my community whatever community i'm having on youtube you people interact with me i interact with you guys so that you get solid information that is why i've decided to start one more thing that is comment of the week I, i'll i'll ask one question in randomly one of the three videos every week and uh, comment the answer down below and i'm going to show them your comment in the next video whatever is the best as i said i go through every comment so this uh, week's video uh, will be what do you think comment of the week what do you think is the secret to success 
that is the question of the week and please comment it down below explain it in paragraphs i don't care i'm going to read it full and if i like it whichever one is going to be the best or whichever one is the, is getting the highest amount of likes that one is going to be displayed in the next video that's about it for this one my second channel i'm talking about personality development and how to improve your speaking skills so you can go and check that out its name is very simple ashish ranjan and that's about it for this video i'm going to see all of you in the next one till then bye